Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jagthiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. In today's mega unboxing video, we've got this special parcel from the Dot Man, as Henning Pauli likes to say, from Toe Man. But before we go ahead with that, make sure you click that subscribe button, ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. So I've ordered three guitars from Toe Man, uh, a couple of Chapman guitars and a Harley Benton. Um, I placed the order almost 29 days ago and I have it right now. I have not uh, opened this package. I'm going to do it right in front of all of you. Uh, I'm just praying, fingers crossed, that the guitars are in a good shape, in a usable shape. Um, uh, I have no idea how the packaging was done. This is a first time experience for me. Uh, but what I can tell you is when I ordered the guitars, I had a thought in my mind, oh, it's going to be relatively cheap if I order from uh, Germany rather than ordering maybe online in India. Um, actually, that's not truly the case because after you take into consideration the customs duty, the traveling to uh, you know the post office and back and the kind of clearances and then on top of that the GST that's applicable to individuals, um, it made it sort of relatively the same amount and the other problem is if this guitar, if any of these guitars are uh, damaged then I would have to pay for the shipping back to Germany for those guitars in order to get a refund, in order to get a, uh, you know, a replacement guitar. So um, maybe this is not the best process for everybody, but I thought I'll do it just to check it out, just to see how it is, just to keep you guys informed about how it is to order from Toman. So let's open this big boy and see what's inside. Um, the customs officer told me that they usually uh, you know, put the boxes which are, which are fragile, marked fragile into an x-ray machine rather than opening the package. But I can clearly see that uh, it's been opened and uh, they've put some uh, brown tape on it which I'm sure Toman would not have put. Um, so let's open this uh, package up and see what's inside. Okay. All right, so they've put some paper mesh, some kind of padding on that. And that's it. And uh, oh man, that looks a little bit delicate and dangerous. I can see that the box has been damaged. Um, so, you know, the outer box has been damaged. I'm just hoping it doesn't make so much of an impact on the inner box. Um, when I ordered from Toman, I actually mailed them that I'm a YouTuber and uh, they were very gracious to send me a free uh, guitar case as well as some picks and uh, a fast fret from GHS. So, you know, kudos to them for keeping us YouTubers happy. All right. So here's the, um, the Toman gig bag. It's one of the freebies I got. I hope you guys can see that. There it is. And, and the three guitars packed one after the other. Um, okay, this is the Chapman guitar, Rob Chapman. Okay, it looks, uh, it looks pretty nicely packed. Uh, the tape is intact on both sides. I'm going to keep this to one side and open it a little bit later. All right, let's check the other Chapman guitar. And oh, uh, it's been opened on one side. I think the customs have definitely checked these guitars or checked this guitar in particular. You can see there's no tape over there. There was tape for sure, but it's been removed. Um, interesting. And then we have the Harley Benton. Okay, it's yeah, it's taped up on one side. It, there doesn't seem to be any tape on the other side. Um, Harley Benton. And we've got the GHS fast fret and uh, the lid has been warped. That means it was probably banging around inside the box and got a little bit damaged, but that's okay. Uh, it's not the outer coating that really matters on this product. It's what's inside. And finally, we've got the two boxes of picks that they've sent us. The two pick sets. Uh, uh, it says here 0 0.46, 0 0.71, 0 0.81, 0 0.96, 1.2, 1.5. Two picks of each of these uh, mm sizes. 
Okay, so let's look at the Harley Benton. Uh, I ordered a, a gold top uh, humbucker. It's called the SC400 SGT. Uh, oh wow, it's nicely packed. Take it out of the parcel, put the box down. Okay, you've got a free cable with that over here. Now, let's put this box aside. Very impressive Harley Benton. Very nicely packed up. Normally you see those thin uh, styrofoam uh, packages on guitars. This is a nice bubble wrap. And it looks gorgeous. Any dings, dongs on it, dents, nothing. Amazing. It says here Harley Benton, Toman. This instrument has been checked by our service team. Excellent. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we've got the Chapman guitars. Uh, this is the one that was opened up. I've ordered a Ghost Fret and an ML1 Modern. Um, what's this? I Speak Music from Toman sticker. Okay, looks good. You've got your Allen key, your Allen wrench over here. Yeah, you've got a couple of them. One for the saddles, one for the truss rod. Okay, uh, the, the quality of this uh, styrofoam wrapping is not too impressive. We've got another sticker here. In case of fire, <laughs> rescue my guitars. Interesting, nice touch. I think that would probably be from Toman. Or... Let me see who makes that. Yeah, it's from Toman. Okay. This is the ML1 Modern. And it looks gorgeous. Amazing condition. I'm seriously surprised after looking at that uh, damaged uh, outer box that it's uh, not even got a single ding or a dent on it. Wow. As far as I can see, this is perfection. It's really beautiful. I don't know if you can get the, uh, you know, the top on this. I'll share more uh, about this guitar in the, the review, which I'm going to do in the future. It looks amazing. It's got Ernie Ball strings on it. It's got Rob Chapman's signature on the top. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. Okay, so we've now got the Ghost Fret. I'm praying that this guitar is in good condition. Um, it's, a, it's a nicely shaped guitar. It's different from other guitars. So there are chances of it getting a ding or getting a dent on, you know, while traveling. I'm um, just praying that it's okay. Let's check it out. Okay, let's open it up. It hasn't been checked by customs. So hopefully it's in good shape. Okay. Again, uh, it's got a light styrofoam packing on it. Um, I was expecting a little bit more, you know, a little bit better packing. There's a lot of space over here where it can move around in, uh, in transit. So yeah, I mean, it's, sh it, for the price that it's uh, it's at for both the uh, you know both the Chapman guitars, it should have been better packed for sure. You know, and uh, another thing, uh, both the Chapman guitars don't come with uh, cases. For about five hundred US dollars, uh, four hundred and uh, uh, some seventy euros uh, that they're selling for on the site, uh, they definitely should come with a soft case. Okay, again, you've got your Allen key, your Allen wrench. As long as you don't say Ellen Key and Ellen Wrench, you're okay. All right. Ah, the case, the packaging is a bit torn over here on the side. Not too much, just a bit. It's okay. And voila. There we go. She's a beaut. Not a single scratch anywhere. Oh wow, she looks gorgeous. Maple neck, oof. Signature on the headstock. The infinity logo at the 12th fret, beautiful. Uh, the other guitar also came with this uh, Chapman guitars uh, pouch. Let's see what's inside. It's. Uh, Probably some kind of a cleaning cloth. I'm not going to open it right now. Um, 
and it's got this thing greetings congratulations on your new chapman guitar we really hope you like it and we welcome you to our family of guitar players across the world your guitar should be set up and ready to go if you have any issues please contact the dealer you bought it from and they should be able to help please visit the support page on our website to find uh, setup and maintenance instructions and much more chapmanguitars.co.uk cool so thankfully all three guitars are in perfect condition um, kudos to Toman for sending them and uh, uh, knowing what they were doing I was highly impressed by the packaging on Harley Benton maybe not so much so for the uh, Chapman guitars but I'm sure they play great I'm sure there's no issues with them there no there no dings there no scratches on the guitar so um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to reviewing both of them. Uh, let's have a listen to them. I'm going to plug into my boss Katana and uh, just run them on a clean and a dirty channel and you can check them out right now.
So that was just a short run through of the tones on these babies. Uh, we're going to do a more in-depth review in the future for all three guitars. Uh, make sure you check that out. Also, um, what's my uh, final opinion on buying from Toman? I really thought the customer service at Toman was incredible. However, the experience at uh, the customs office in India uh, was a bit tedious. I'm lucky I went to uh, the GPO with my friend Rishi who helped me clear uh, the guitars and uh, taught me the process uh, that's involved in this. Um, check out his uh, website Studio Vault. I'm leaving a link in the description below. 
Um, yeah, so I mean, keeping all that in mind and the fact that it took 29 days to get me uh, the guitars and uh, there was always a risk, you know, of when it was moving from the GPO, the main GPO to the local post office that there could be some damages done to the guitars. There was always that on my mind. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying, uh, uh, you know, uh, cheaper guitars, uh, you know, from uh, an international site simply because you're not sure of what you're going to get in the long run. However, um, Toman did package these guitars properly. Uh, it's not that I don't trust Toman. It's just that in India, you can't really be sure about, you know, the whole uh, uh, customs process and how they, you know, they manage their products. All that aside, uh, I'm really happy with what I've got. Um, I definitely think it's a uh, bang for your buck. Um, yes, I would probably in the future buy locally uh, the same products because it's less of a headache. Um, if it was more of a vintage guitar, maybe I would look at Toman or a more specialized product that's not available in India. I would probably look at Toman for sure on that level. But uh, if I didn't live in India, maybe if I lived abroad, that would be the number one site I would go to to buy my stuff. I mean, uh, the shipping costs are very low. The prices are very reasonable and uh, all in all, a very satisfactory experience. So I hope you liked that episode. Make sure you smash that like button, click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. If you want to support me in making such videos, become a patron today. My Patreon link is in the card above. Go there, click it and become a supporter today. Make sure you follow me on social media. All my links are in the description below. And above all else, keep on rocking.